Well, for the first time ever, the Minnesota United States pageant took place in Brainerd. Haiti Clotter shows us how she's beauty, she's grace, she's Minnesota United States. 29 women compete for six titles, but only one emerges with that sparkly crown. The Minnesota United States pageant took place on Saturday at Tornstrom Auditorium, and this was the first time the pageant was held in Brainerd. The mayor of Baxter, Daryl Olson, actually came out and welcomed everybody tonight at the pageant, so the community has just all band together, and it's been just really awesome. Women from all over the state traveled to compete, and they all came from different backgrounds. A few women were competing for the very first time. It usually is a mixture, and it's really fun to see a lot of the girls who do the hard work. Um, usually it pays off. After a long day of interviewing with the judges, a swimsuit competition, and strutting in an evening gown, it was time for a new queen to wear the crown. It was all up to the judges to decide who would hear their name being called. Each judge was looking for something different in each girl. Through the onstage question, through the swimsuit round and the evening gowns, um, it was really uh, Interesting to see uh, their confidence um, as they uh, worked it on the stage and also um, being able to think quickly and uh, respond to that question. The moment Hannah True was crowned Teen Minnesota United States, she was overcome with emotion. This was only her third pageant. It means the world and more to me. I see myself really growing more as a woman and I'm so excited and it means so much to me because I have that opportunity to continue my growth. Now the winners will move on to a bigger stage by competing in the national competition in June in Orlando, Florida. In Brainerd, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. The winners also received a prize package which included photo sessions, pageant coaching, and their entry for nationals. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.